rich display of culture and tradition at the Bugmolaugu Day celebration. <laughs> Sons and daughters of the community have come together to discuss ways to develop their area. In his message to the people, the state governor, Ibikun Amusun, promises that his government will carry out more developmental projects across the state in 2015. So thank you for your support and pray that 2015 will even be better than this 2014. And to reassure you that in 2015 we will serve you more than what we did in the uh, past four years. So as we move to the election, please don't forget that in Ogun State, we have what we call Ogun Standard. There must not be any form of violence. Our forefathers, and I'm happy that they are all here, we do not resolve election with violence. Let whoever that people want, let them vote for the person, and the person will represent everybody. It will not represent only party A or party B. Once you are voted, you become, of course, the property and the responsibility to cater for everybody's lives on whoever is so elected. We pray that in the coming election, you will elect me, you will elect all of us. A son of the soil and former president of Nigeria, Ulushe Gumobasanjo, also addresses his kinsmen in his mother tongue. <laughs> Guests at the event also include a former deputy governor of Oyo State, Mr. Taufi Karakwaja, who commends the present administration in the state for a job well done. He also has a word of advice for politicians ahead of the general elections in 2015. And I just believe that there shouldn't be bitterness in playing politics. Whatever we we'll do, be will be. If you do well, people will vote for you. They will come call you back. I must confess to you, I'm, I just believe in performance. That is exactly no matter the amount of noise you make, your performance will speak for you. Many Nigerians will be watching to see if politicians will indeed play by the rules come 2015.